I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a thinking test question on factoring polynomials. The question here is factor px cube plus p minus q x square plus minus 2p minus q times x plus 2q. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now it looks very scary, right? We don't have numbers. We all have these variable kind of things. Now, this is a polynomial equation in X. We'll treat P, Q as some constants, right? So this term 2Q is a constant. Now, using factor theory, uh, we can find what are possible factors. Possible factors are factors of 2q divided by factors of p, right? The constant term and the leading coefficient. So possible factors are so we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2. We can also write plus minus q plus minus 2q, right? plus divide by p, right? So we could have all this combination with 1 over p plus minus 2 over p plus minus q over p and plus minus 2q over p. So these are all the possible combinations which we need to try one by one and get the first factor. Since it is a cubic equation, once we get the first factor, we could divide and factorize using our learnings from quadratic polynomial factoring. Now since we have all positive values, it's a good idea to start with negative value, right? So let's try uh, substituting x equals to minus 1 and see do we get a 0. So if I write minus 1 here, I get p times minus 1 cube plus p minus q times minus 1 square plus minus 2p minus q times minus 1 plus 2q, right? And that gives me minus p. And when I multiply this as positive ones, we get plus p minus q. Here, when I multiply, you get minus 2p Okay, this is minus, so it becomes positive, right? So positive 2p, positive q. Then we have plus 2q. And all these terms, if I check, uh, minus p plus p cancel. So, so let me do whatever best we could. So they will cancel. 2q minus q minus q cancel. So we do not get 0, but we get 2p plus 2q, right? So that didn't work. Let's try x equals to minus 2. So if I try x equals to minus 2, I get p minus 2q plus p minus q minus 2 square plus minus 2p minus q times minus 2 plus 2q. And let's expand this. So 2 cube is 8 with a negative sign, so we get minus 8p. This is 4 positive, so we get plus 4p minus 4q. Here we are working with minus 2, so minus minus is positive 4p, minus minus is positive 2q, and we have plus 2q. Now let's check this part. So we have, let's, minus 8p, plus 4p, plus 4p. So that takes care of p terms. And as far as q is concerned, we have minus 4q and two positive 2qs. So that indeed is 0, right? Now from here, it is very clear that x plus 2 is a factor. Now, since we know x plus 2 is a factor, we could divide this equation by x plus 2, we'll get a quadratic equation and then we can factor. So at least we've got one factor. 
Now I will show you synthetic division. We have very less space here. And we will divide this by x plus 2. So we will do synthetic division here. Okay. So the terms which we have, we are dividing by x plus 2, minus 2 makes it 0. So we write minus 2 here. The coefficients of x cube is p, x square is p minus q. For x, it is minus 2p minus q, and then we have the constant 2q. As you know, the leading coefficient will be brought down as such. All right, so here we are going to get the remainder. So if I bring down p, multiply by minus 2, I get minus 2p. And when we add them up, so we have to add these. When we add them up, we get minus p minus q. Now if I multiply, so what we are doing here is we are doing times, as you know, and then placing the term. And then we add it up and then again repeat the process. So minus makes both of them positive. So we get 2p plus 2q. And then again when we add these two, that is 0. However, this is q, right? And multiplying by minus 2, we get minus 2q. And as expected, the remainder is 0. So we get another factor here. And of course, the coefficients will be one lower than these. So, so we could write this as, a, okay, let me write down on the right side the factor. So we have done the factoring very clearly. It is shown here. So, so we could write our answer here as that px cube plus p minus q x square plus minus 2 minus q x plus 2q can be written as first factor is x plus 2, right? And then we have px square. This is minus, so we could take minus or we could write we could write plus with minus p minus q x and then q right plus q the constant so that becomes the factor for the given question so i like you to go through these steps one by one understand how to factor such polynomials where we really don't have many numbers but we have more kind of variables to work with I hope you find it very interesting. You can like the videos, share with them, with your friends, and feel free to post your questions and suggestions. Thank you, and all the best.